and confirms that he's strapped in. See, he's putting on his helmet. And Steve Bowen now confirmed to be aboard Atlantis at this time. He's going to be sitting on the mid-deck in the center seat. Tony Antonelli, our pilot, will be boarding next. And, of course, he'll be in the right seat on the flight deck in the cockpit. This is his second trip into space, having flown as a pilot on STS-119 aboard Discovery, which delivered some of the power-generating solar array wings and one of the integrated truss segments. He's a commander in the Navy. The communications channels here in Fire Room 4 are extremely quiet. There's just no unusual out-of-family activity going on at all. Everything is right going by the timeline. They're not working any issues. The sh shuttle training aircraft should be taking off shortly to begin weather reconnaissance. And they'll be looking at a little bit at the... Uh, clouds, but that's about it. It's a fairly calm day here at the Cape. Clear as well, mother. Thanks. NCD, CDR, come check. And CDR, I've got you loud and clear. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Jeremy. Uh, we're out of clear as well. You 
Houston, CDR. How you doing, Scorch? Hey, good morning from Houston. Hawk, you look good in that seat. Fence checked in, brother. Here's Sellers, is mission specialist number four, and he's in the suit-up room now, getting ready for his entry into the crew compartment. TLT on board at this time. Copy. TLT on board. And we have confirmation officially that our pilot Tony Antonelli is on board. We've just completed a brief check of the solid rocket booster avionics and confirmed the software is all OTC. as it should be. And the boosters are electrically ready. Our EP liquid level checks are complete um, per step 626. I copy, thank you. And we've also just completed a external tank liquid oxygen, uh, liquid hydrogen level sensor checks. Verify quantities uh, on board as we continue throughout the countdown and get into our final launch configuration for liftoff. Here, Reisman will be next to board. He's mission specialist number one aboard Atlantis on STS-132. And he will also be doing two spacewalks, EVAs one and three. He holds a PhD in mechanical engineering, and he's already spent more than three months in space aboard the International Space Station.